2010, introduction to using the newest version of PowerPoint. We're going to take a look at a few things. Um, one of the main things you may notice at the beginning up here at the top, you notice the Office button has been replaced with a File ribbon. The File ribbon allows you to access those features that were in the Office button in the 2007 version, and is kind of uh, uh, throwback to what we used to use in the file menus. It's pretty useful and we're going to come back to what this will do in, in future episodes. The home ribbon hasn't had a lot of major changes. It's kind of the main uh, tools that you'll need to, to coordinate and use your PowerPoint. The insert ribbon allows you to insert the major objects and items that you do into a PowerPoint, the multimedia pieces and tools. The design ribbon allows you to change page setup, slide orientation, set themes, colors, backgrounds, etc. Transition menu is a new ribbon. It used to be on the animation ribbon in 2007. It is now in the zone ribbon. It gives you all the features to allow you to create your transitions from slide to slide. The animation ribbon now is a little bit bigger, more emphasis on the animation tools, and allows you to create the animation effects for text and other objects in the PowerPoint show. The slideshow ribbon gives you the tools for setting up, managing, and rehearsing a slideshow. The review ribbon gives you the markup co and comments uh, tools that you use if you're editing or uh, offering suggestions on somebody else's PowerPoint. And the final one is the view menu that lets you see some of the other options for viewing your PowerPoint. We'll go through each of these features and each of the tools and learning how to use PowerPoint 2010.